Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. This is a weekly love intuitive message for you Sagittarius. I hope you are well. I hope you're fine. I hope you're safe wherever you are right now. This reading for today is for the Sagittarius friends out there. What can I get for Sagittarius please? What is the love message that is ready for you to know and meant for you to know? This week, okay? This is applicable for the Sagittarius sign. Before I start, Sagittarius, I would like to thank you for coming back. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for being here today. Guest viewers, if you haven't, clicked the subscribe button in the bell. Please do it now if you're interested and if you are keen. And if you would like to further support my channel, Sagittarius, all you have to do is go to www.sunshine-tv.com. In there, you will find all the services that I offer outside of the YouTube platform, okay? So this is for you, okay? What's the message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know for this time of the week, this time of the day? This is a weekly reading. Um, depending on the message that I'll pick up for today, I will let you know if there's a need to extend the reading, okay? But to access the extended reading, the link is down in the description box below. This is for you. And so we start your reading. Okay. The center of the reading is you've got the Princess of Cups in reverse. What's crossing you is the Ten of Cups in upright position. Crowning the reading is the Queen of Wands in upright position. And the base is you've got the Magician card in upright position. In the past, let me just move the camera. In the past, you've got the Universe card or the World card in upright position and the Two of Swords in reverse. What's the current energy is you've got the Emperor card in reverse and the star card in reverse position so um we'll just go to the center of the reading and then we'll proceed with the past the current and then we will get more cards to look at the predictive outcome and advice and again depending on the message for today i'll let you know if this doesn't need to extend the reading and so we started off okay so the center of the reason the center of the reading is you've got the princess of cups in reverse um, it could be you're waiting for your person to, you, you know, you've lost, you've lost that, you've, you've lost that touch and feeling. What's that song? You've lost that love and feeling or there's a, there's an attach. Um, there's a, if you are in a relationship, you feel like you're, you're falling apart, you know, instead of, um, being close together, you feel like it's falling apart or drifting apart. So, yeah, you've lost that. What is that song? <laughs> I keep hearing it. You've lost love and feeling, baby. Whatever it is. Anyway, so the center of the reading is the Princess of Cups in reverse. It could be you're waiting for someone to apologize with you. You're not feeling the love. You're not feeling the emotional connection with this person. It's cold. Um, the Ten of Cups is in reverse. Yeah, it's causing you to be unhappy because you're not getting the attention. You're not getting the love. Um, in the past, everything seems to be perfect. Everything seems to... You felt it. Okay, you felt a change. Pa Princess of Cups in reverse and the Ten of Cups uh, crossing this is that you're threatened. That if this goes on, them being cold, being aloof, or not being connected to you emotionally, or it could be for some of you, you're not that... Um, open with your feelings you're not connecting emotionally or you don't have that regular conversation about how they feel about you about love about flirting you worry that if this goes on that those connection is gone or you're losing it then you will you'll throw away the ten of cups that you built in the past so I really feel like this reading, it's preemptive. You know, you're feeling like something is disconnected between the two of you. Something is not working. Uh, they're aloof. They are detached. Um, you're not getting, um, what do you call this? It's not the same way as you are before. Because in the past, you know, you've got the Ten of Cups. This is what's crossing you. The Two of Swords, the World Guard. So it was sure that you are in rhythm, you know. In the past, there was happiness. There was a lot of rhythm between the two of you. Your sway, you know, look at that. Look at you, the Ten of Cups, and you and this person. So there's a lot of love, or there's a lot of 
there's a lot of synchronicity between your emotions and them. You are connected. You're happy. There's conversation about your feeling, their feeling. So you feel very comfortable and secure about how your world and this person's world is merging. So if you're getting to know, you're kind of confident because you're in synchronized with them, you're updated with them, that you've got a future. But there's a threat, you know, because two of swords, two of swords in reverse, Two of Swords in Reverse, this is a sure thing to feel. You know, in the past, it's a sure thing to feel the Ten of Cups, the happiness, because you're connected in all levels, mentally, emotionally, intimacy, and possibly spiritually, because I'm getting like you could have the same religion, you know. So, but, you know, at, 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 the, you know, at the center of the reading today, you want to maintain this. You want to keep it going. And if those simple things such as, you know, texting or calling you before they sleep or before you sleep, if that simple action, if that simple input is starting to disappear, you know, those regular catch up, those regular, you know, calls, texts, hugging, kissing, they having dinner together, you know, I really feel like you're reminiscing from past to the current energy. We were, you know, at this time of the day, we were talking. In the past, we were having good mornings, good evening, you know. Have you had your dinner? You know, sweet messages, simple things like that. It makes up a whole lot of happiness, you know. And it makes up with the security you, you feel. But those are starting to disappear. You're starting to deplete those small things, Um you know, gestures, communication that you're doing regular, you know, it's it's small, but it's so sweet, you know, and um, crowning the reading is the queen of wands. So you did, you, you did, um, you have inputted your queen of wands. This is your participation. Um, you did um, send them a message. You were doing your thing. You know, you were giving a love energy. You are connecting with this person. You are trying, you know, Queen of Wands. You've noticed a change and you were trying to get them back. You were trying to recover. You're trying to get them into the rhythm again of the connection or the relationship. You're working hard to get them to like you back, to get them interested with you, to be passionate with you again. Um, hidden energy or the base energy in here, what you don't see. Magician card. Um, I feel like I don't know. I really feel like th there's a, I'm hearing the word times up, you know, yeah. Eight of swords in reverse, the tower card in reverse. Um, so what you don't see is that magician card. This is probably a stage of the connection or a relationship where, you know, the honeymoon stage, the magician, the illusion, you know, the magician energy in here, I really feel like the honeymoon stage, it is done, it is gone. So maybe, you know, when if you're getting to know, or you're dating, or you're reconciling, you know, it is quite exciting in the beginning, you're you guys are so in love with one another, look at that, you know, the 10 of cups, you're so in love with one another, you're all over with each other. But the the, the reason why you know things are starting to disappear it's it's possibly because you're done with the honeymoon stage um and for some of you guys um this is a normal stage or a normal pattern but i will not blame you sagittarius if you're threatened if you're worried because it's so nice to be in a honeymoon stage you know you have worries in here you have a bit of an anxiety you feel like you don't want to go through some complication or you don't want to you don't want to end the honeymoon stage you know um the tower card is in reverse i feel like this is a reassurance with you that they still feel the same feelings intention appreciation and connection with you from past to current it's just that you you and your person is starting to be more complacent complacent more comfortable uh more less exciting but more stable okay so reassurance there is yeah i'm really getting like a good energy of reassurance okay the reassurance that it could be you know you're done with the honeymoon stage but pretty much nothing in their feelings has changed intention appreciation it hasn't changed they're simply or you're simply 
going through a different pattern, a different um, cycle, a more stable, okay? Because I feel like whatever took place in the past, this is teeny bopper, you know, like honeymoon. Um, this is like freshly made, um, getting to know that fun, that passion, that excitement. It's going to go through a whole new level, okay? Um, in the current energy, you've got the Emperor card in reverse, the Star card in reverse. So, I feel like for some of you Sagittarius, you weren't able to manage the change, okay? Because um, in the past, things were really passionate. It was consistent. There was a lot of emotional connection. There's a lot of emotional connectivity. There's a lot of activity between the two of you back and forth, calling each other texting, seeing each other, dinner, intimacy, sex, good laugh, good moments. So there was that. And then you felt the change, you know, that maybe there was an issue, you know, because things are starting to stabilize or be grounded. It's not as passionate as it was before. But the Tower card is really telling me you were scared, you were threatened, you were worried about, you know, the fact that you could be falling apart because there is a change. There's some sort of aloofness. It's no longer active. If you compare now versus in the past, it's not as active as it is. But the Tower card, it's telling me that in the past, it was honeymoon. Um, right now, it's starting to move into the next level. For some of you, Sagittarius, I feel like you weren't able to manage this change you were threatened. For some of you, re you react. If you look at the Queen of Wands, you tried to control it in a way that your person or yourself or the connection, it was not managed properly. It it was not understood by your person. Because if you look at the Queen of Wands, she's trying to, you know, so scare the lion. So because you were threatened, because you wanted to, because you wanted for things to go back to normal, to be connected with again, with with this person again, to re to re to relieve whatever beautiful moments and connection it, it took place in the past. You were trying to um, work on that. It could be for some of you, Sagittarius. It went through a little bit of challenge in in doing that. So you reacted, or your reaction, or your action towards bringing it back the way it should be. For some of you, it was misunderstood. For some of you, it was mismanaged. For some of you, the system that you put, the action and system that you put on how to fix it, on how to control it, on how to revive this, it was improperly done. It was it was mis misunderstood because you've got the Empress card and the Star card in reverse. So currently, there is a problem. There's an issue, okay? Um, yeah, I feel like for some of you, you tried... You or them tried to control it. Uh, in, in some way, the you and your person were not able to manage it well, the changes that went through. Okay, because you know it's 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 a typical feeling where you know, okay, we're it's honeymoon stage, we're getting to know, we're excited, and then it will come to a point of okay, what's next? And that is where you and your person starting to cool off. You know, there's still activity, there's still connection, but it was not as exciting as in the past because you and your person is searching for a more grounded, a more secure, a more defined, a more structured, you know, relationship connection, whether it's getting to know or a, a relationship, a connection, you know, it it, 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 it changes. It's, you know, it, it comes with a cycle. And you and your person did not manage that well because it's showing that the Emperor card is in reverse and the Star card is in reverse. So I really feel like when you guys are tar starting to feel aloof with one another, it could be you had a misunderstanding, you had some fight. You know, it, it created the friction. It created some issues and problem that you and your person starting to deal with it. It was not managed properly. It was misunderstood. It came to the, it came to a point that you guys are no longer talking. There's so much pride within the both of you. The systematic approach in the past it's now disturbed, and you're feeling like the Star Card Universe. You're losing hope. You know, currently you feel like your approach, their approach, it's out of whack. <laughs> There's no system in place between the two of you. Okay, it could be 
today you're talking and then after two three days that's where you're gonna talk again so there's no system in place it's 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 in a shamble it's in um it's it's disorganized it could be the cause was because you're fighting there was some jealousy maybe for some of you um you were threatened that why they're aloof or why they're acting this way or why are you falling apart maybe there was a third party for some of you but the cause was you know there was a change and each one of you your reaction towards this change instead of bringing back harmony or bringing back each other together um one of you reaction or action was a bit out of out of um out of the out of the ordinary or it's not in sync it's not in sync it was manipulated that's why the the emperor card in reverse you know it means that you're probably still connected and interested interested but there's a lot of ego or it's not system systematic it's just it's not systematic and you're losing hope you know you're losing hope you're, you're losing of there's a the star card it's not getting if th there's a threat in the sense that if you stay this way the, your approach their approach your approach their approach your action the reaction your input their input if this stays this way that it is not systematic there's no system in place then you're losing hope you know you're losing hope and so they are you know it's this um it's, it's starting to feel disconnection you know because of there's no system in place today you will be sweet tomorrow you'll fight again and then you'll talk after two weeks or after a month so there's no system in place and it's starting to really feel worn out tired of the fighting the jealousy the ego possessiveness for some of you and it's starting to affect the future the star card okay so let's look at um how your person feels about you um how your person feels about you what can you get for sag how your person feels about you the nine of pentacles in reverse let's look at you know the predictive outcome and advice what can i get for sagittarius in terms of predictive outcome and advice you've got the strength card in reverse and the seven of pentacles in reverse position so how your person feels about you is that um right now they're still very much attached with you they're still um this is a pentacles so um they're not throwing away the investment you know seven of pentacles in reverse look at that your person is still attached with you but they're not really into a hundred percent investing on connecting relationship getting to know reconciliation or rebuilding it they're still attached but the more you don't talk the more you guys stay in this no system approach the more they become um the more they fall out of love or the more they feel disconnected okay the more you guys do not talk do not interact the more you guys um deal with the indifferences of one another the more they would run away or the more they would be distanced okay it's starting to fall apart you know but there there's still hope because they're still very much attached with you but the investment the effort that's coming and the energy that's coming towards your person it's not a hundred percent and it's controlled it's limited predictive outcome and advice you've got the strength card yeah this connection is weak it's not as strong as it is before but one thing good about your reading you know this connection is weak it's not as strong as before um because you guys are both you know seven of pentacles in reverse you guys are not putting the hundred percent effort so it's starting to get weak the more you guys are separated disconnected the more you don't connect emotionally in, in a loving manner in a sweet manner in a daily catch-up the more you guys become weak this connection start it's becoming more and more weak if you stay in this kind of um approach if you stay in this kind of system no system like fly by night you know today we call tomorrow we don't the next day you know we call again but it's only on one day like the quality of conversation the quality of connection it's starting to be weak and you and your person is starting to be um 
for some of you, you you're still trying because you've got a queen of wands for some of you your person is still your person is waiting for um a huge turnaround of event they're still very much connected with you okay because nine of pentacles this is single this is still attached so even if you guys are not talking or they're aloof they're still very much observing and attached with you um i'm gonna extend the reading i will look at the attachment of your person towards you and i will look at you know a three to six months predictive advice and um, more intuitive message. I'll pick up more intuitive message. If you're interested to join me in the extended reading, the link is down in the description box below. But um, so far, this is for you. This is your reading. I hope you've connected and you've got, you know, you've you've understand, um, and you've understand the energy from past to per to present to the current or current, and you you know it has somehow helped with your worst concern. Okay. I'll see you in the extended. If not, you have a great week. I'm uploading the next 24 hours reading. So watch the space. You know, hit the subscribe button and the bell, especially the notification bell, so that you're notified about the next 24 hours. Love reading. That would that would have love energy and that would have a general um, situationship reading, okay? I'll see you soon, guys. You have a great week. Bye-bye.